of the most recognizable buildings in Arkansas, not only home to our lawmakers, it houses multiple memorials and has been featured in several major motion pictures, but that historic building is hiding a secret, one that's never been unveiled until tonight. Cue the creepy music. <laughs> we were granted exclusive after hours access with a group known as Sweet and Sour Paranormal. As Claire Kreit shows us, what they found may make you think twice the next time you visit. The state capitol, it's known as the place where laws are created, history is made. But what happens when the sun goes down and these halls are empty? Whispers of spirits floating inside these walls are common among capitol staff, whether it's the custodian cleaning the basement or the security guard on the graveyard shift. These are big guys, old time cops who were serious about the work. They had heard things. They could swear up and down they had seen things. State historian David Ware says to understand these stories, it's important to know that these grounds didn't always host those making the laws, but those who broke them. The old site of the state penitentiary. Ware talks about the mess of a prison that up until 1899 sat on what is now the home of the state capitol. So between disease, the violence that you found when you, when you have convicts locked up together in very close quarters, my bet is that there were quite a few deaths. That begs the next question. Where did they put those bodies? Certainly, the prisoners were buried on what would today be known as the Capitol's grounds. While there was an effort to remove the remains, Ware says there could still be remnants. I believe that if there are any skeletal remains, they're fragmentary. With that in mind, Sweet and Sour Paranormal set off to see if they could put those haunting tales on record. We're saying they know we're here, is all I'm telling you. Immediately, clairvoyant Michelle Martindale got an eerie feeling. They screamed my name and they screamed Chris's name. Who did? Then they said to leave. As she walked past the elevator, what do you want to tell me? something drew her back to it. One death we do know of, though, is the death of a gentleman named Ira Gurley. Gurley was the secretary of the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission and was planning a run as Secretary of State, where it says in June of 1932. Gurley was getting on board the elevator. His political aspirations came crashing down. So the elevator took off. Gurley was in the doorway. The elevator went up. He was crushed in the frame of the elevator. From that spirit to the next. I did just see a shadow though. Where? Looks like Walker. Yeah, right here, you know, like from my eye. Right there where the water bottles are, there's a door. They walked out the door and over towards the desk. And it was really fast. The hunters knew they'd be in for a spooky night. If the lady is here, can you touch this red light that we have at the bottom of the stairs? Getting out their gear and going to work. If you want to talk, just yell into this device at the end of my hand. It didn't take long for the spirits to make their presence known. How many is here? Nine. I thought I heard something. Of course, we never did. You see it? Uh huh. photographer was setting up in one of the hallways. They caught a woman scream on camera. I think I'm yep. Near the stairs, Chris Counts was walking up as Martin Dill noticed he wasn't alone. There's someone beside you. Using thermal imaging cameras, they could see the silhouette of someone else, but there was no one next to Counts. See, there's two of them. I want to go to this nursing Station. Later on, Counts Down took there. his recording device to the basement. What is your name? Would you like us to leave now? Okay, turning off the device. While he was asking the spirit questions, he picked up this. Do you want to talk with me? After five hours, it was time to pack up and leave. And then after that, when I told Ware about some of the group's findings, I asked
asked if he ever had his own paranormal experience in the building. I never heard anything that I couldn't, if I worked hard enough, explain. Even still, it makes them wonder, oh, what? You want us to stay, you better. Or who? Governor? Could be looking around the corner. Do I discount uh, the possibility of there being spirits in the building or someone having heard a woman's scream with no explanation? I don't.